guys, it's Lisa here in the studio. And today I'm gonna to show you a few things that you can do with leftover paint. Whenever I paint papers, I always have paint left and I can't stand to throw it away. So I figured out a way to uh, use it all up and not put it in the trash. All right, let's give it a go. So the first thing I like to do with my leftover paint is base out new papers. These are papers, I call them papers in waiting. They're waiting for some kind of texture to be put on them. So I just have a stash of these papers sitting around and when I'm ready to paint them, they're already based out. I don't have to wait for them to dry. I can just put a coat of color on them and um, they're ready to go for later. So I have two, um, two pieces of paper to show you that on. This is a dictionary page. This is a paper from a coloring, an adult coloring book that was all the rage last year. I don't know if it still is or not, but um, they make really good base papers because they have this very interesting graphic on them already. All right, so that's considered, to me, a layer already to have this print or this graphic. So when I have my leftover paint here, I thin it out with a little bit of water and then just put a wash on it. I usually use a, um, a little bit of a bigger brush than I normally use to collage with when I'm basing out these papers. And let's try some blue too. Yeah, since I tear these papers into tiny, tiny pieces, sometimes I like to um, use a couple different colors on one sheet. It gives me more options when I'm going to collage. All right, so you see how pretty that already is? And then later, I'll go back in and put even another texture on it. So it makes it really visually interesting when you use base papers that already have this kind of graphic stuff on them. So the paint is um, pretty watered down. Even if it's opaque paint, if you're using good paint, you can water it down and then they're not gonna lose their vibrancy. So you can see the text underneath. Let's do some yellow too. Like this is, this yellow is a really, it's a much more heavy, heavy body. Can you see how thick it is? But if you use some water, you can thin it out. All right, so that's the first way. And then these papers will just sit and wait for their next texture to be put on them. All right, now the second way, I like to use up my extra paint, is to take a palette knife and dip it in my leftover paints. And then just tap it. Okay, and then you can turn it and go to another color. Very random. The less you think about it, the better they turn out usually. Don't try to space them evenly or anything like that. Just be pretty random about it. Okay, so these are some papers that I've done in the past using this technique. This one I've used almost every single bit of it and I loved it, so I need to make some more. And here's the one that I did in pink and cream and gold using this little technique with the palette knife. All right, another thing that I like to do is to just dab with my fingertips. And it really doesn't matter to me if I'm mixing up the paints. So I'm not even gonna clean my hand off in between colors. 
Okay, so just play around with that technique too. Here's some papers that I've done using that fingertip. Love this one, it has some gold in it. I don't know if you can see the metallic, but it's really pretty. Then you can say you actually have your fingerprints in your own artwork, that's pretty cool. All right, and the last thing I like to do to use that paint is spatter it, and I love to spatter this paint. I use this jar, you can tell this is my glue jar, but I use it to spatter against all the time, and as you can see, I use it often. To spatter so I usually um, do the spattering last because you're really gonna have to water down your paint to get it to um, fly so this is a good one to do at the very end when you're almost out of paint all right so you make it really really wet and then you can just tap it Now this one, I, I do clean my brush in between usually. Yeah. Nice gray water. I've been using that for a couple of days. So this is a thicker body paint. Do you see how much thicker it is than the others? And so you're really gonna need a lot of water here. Let's see if this works. And if you put a piece of paper down on your work surface, you're getting this cast off too, which becomes accidental paper later. Super easy. So these are papers that I've spattered with leftover paint. still have paint left you can blot it onto your the paper you have co covering your table all right and since I use deli paper to put my paint on like my palette page you can also use this later too so no paint wasted nothing wasted <laughs> that's my supervisor amber she keeps me on the straight and narrow my little kitten is always right by my side so i hope you enjoy those techniques and that you don't waste any paint anymore and thanks for watching follow me on instagram at a pinch of wonderful i'll see you next time happy creating bye-bye